Hey there everyone, it's Ways. I hope you've all been doing great. Uh, it's 2020! Wow! <laughs> Happy New Year! Uh, I'm very sorry, this video was supposed to be up last year in December, but I ended up not being able to edit it in time. So it's up now. <laughs> I had a vacation break, so I was traveling, I was out of my house i actually spent my new year's with a couple friends in this really really cool place but i think i'm gonna just talk more about this later right now uh in this video i'm gonna be testing out some watercolor samples that this brazilian watercolor company sent to me and they're actually the only brazilian watercolor company that there is so i think that's really something that we have to cherish and value so yeah I have actually been keeping up with them for a while now. I follow them on their Instagram page. I'm just really glad that they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out their products. So here I am. They are all sealed with this uh, little paper seal, like this protective thing. And it was kind of hard to remove because they kept sticking to the watercolor, like to the little paints, the paint blobs. But it's also kind of satisfying, <laughs> satisfactory, I don't know. So yeah, about the paints themselves, um, as you guys know, I like my colors to be more on the vibrant and saturated side rather than on the natural and like muted down side, which is usually how professional watercolors tend to go you know, like Winsor & Newton. So these watercolors tend to go more on that muted down side. So the colors uh, in the video, they seem to be really, really uh, vibrant, but in real life, they're not that insane, <laughs> you know? Uh, they dry down to be a very natural color. Like it's not, how do I describe this? It's not like, it's not something you'd see in a computer screen. It's just natural colors. Um, which is great if you're looking for that kind of finish. I like my colors to be a bit more on the vibrant side, so I like using Holbein's. My Holbein's, my trusty Holbein's. About everything else, they're, they're great. They're professional watercolors, as you can see written on the little cards. So they, they're great. <laughs> I don't really have anything bad to say about them. Again, I just think it's really nice that in Brazil we have a watercolor company that's worried about making good products and they're actually at a very accessible price as well because comparing to the imported uh, watercolors that we have selling here they're they're way more affordable and it comes with just as much quality and just as much you know amount of paint so yeah so the sketches that I'm gonna be coloring in this video I had actually sketched before <laughs> I keep doing this, I keep forgetting to record my sketching process and a lot of you guys asked me to do that and I'm really sorry, I'm gonna try to remember next time but I sketched these without even thinking of making a YouTube video and then they turned out good, I really like them so I decided to make a YouTube video out of them uh, yeah, um, I'll do better next time I'll remember to record the process of sketching and yeah, just trust me <laughs> My style has been going through a lot of changes lately and I'm pretty sure you can see that. A lot of you guys have commented that already and I just think it's interesting to just think of how how the way you draw like reflects what, where you are in your life right now. Uh, like my references have changed, my mindset has changed about what I make and like what I want to make and stuff like that and I, I think it's just really I don't know I think it's interesting <laughs> to see how things change so much my style used to be pretty how can I say this I felt kind of trapped by my old style I'm not gonna lie because a lot of artists say this that you need to find your style and like your own identity that when people look at it they're like oh that's that's Milky Way's style but I found that that got me a bit trapped I felt like I couldn't do anything else and I wanted to do other things 
but I didn't because I was like, oh, that's not really my style, so I won't do it. And that's not the mindset that you should have. Well, at least for me, <laughs> that's not the mindset that I should have because I wanted to try other things and trying other things will only benefit you in the long run. So I, it took me a while <laughs> to realize that and like, I don't know. I really want to push myself to be my best version, like be the best artist that I can. And this year, I'm gonna try to focus more on that rather than keeping one style, like keeping this one thing that I can do and do it forever. I want to try out a lot of other things. I want to try to push my style in ways that will make me happy and that will produce art that I'm happy with, regardless of it look of if it looks like my other work or if it looks like it has my identity on it. Uh, sure, I want to have an identity, but I think like doing the same eyes and the same mouth every time doesn't really doesn't mean you have an identity, like that you have a style, it just means that you should try other things. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I hope you guys can uh, accompany me in this real, in this little journey. And yeah, thank you so much for the support that I've been getting. Uh, changing styles was not really a, a conscious decision. It was more like, okay, I'll do whatever I want now. And that's what happened. I'm pretty happy with where I'm going. I don't really know where I'm gonna get, <laughs> but it's been fun. Drawing has always been really fun to me and finding out new things and learning new things is also a very fun experience to me, always. And I don't know, I just have a lot to learn. And this year I'm gonna dedicate to that. I'm also gonna dedicate this year to making more YouTube videos. <laughs> I've decided that I really wanna be more present in here and I do realize that I have a following here that doesn't really follow me anywhere else. And I wanna I wanna thank you guys for the support. And just not posting here makes it makes it feel like I'm not grateful, which is really not true. I really wanna communicate with you guys more and maybe reply more to comments. I don't worry, I read them all. I have notifications on, on my phone for every comment I get on my YouTube videos, so I read them all. But replying to them is something that I always postpone and I never end up doing so it's something that I want to work on this year as well uh, basically I just want to be more productive this year I also decided to uh, not drop out I don't really know the word but I was in art college it's visual arts college actually we don't really have an illustration course in Brazil so in my course they only teach uh, contemporary art and stuff like that so illustration it's, it's kind of looked down upon and it's not encouraged and I really want to focus on illustration and on what I want to do so I decided to stop college this year and try to focus on that and getting better and that's what I'm gonna do so instead of doing college I have to do other stuff so I'm gonna focus on YouTube and I'm gonna also take classes on fundamentals to you know understand things because I honestly <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time <laughs> and I just want to get knowledge so I can know what to do and where to like do things so yeah fundamentals always good I want to study more this year and I just want to be more productive in general so we'll see how it goes uh yeah just uh, I just really hope I can be more active on YouTube because I really really like making YouTube videos and like talking to you guys and it's just it's fun but I just always postpone it and just don't let me be like this okay guys please just how do you say it charge me <laughs> no, remind me just say you haven't posted in a month and I'm like oh shit oh sorry can I curse I don't know. I feel like I'm comfortable enough to curse on my videos now, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Please tell me what are your goals in 2020? I said mine in this video is just to be more productive and focus on studies and getting better at art and posting more videos and just making more content. That's Those are my goals, uh, art-related goals. 
I also want to be way more active on my Patreon. I have been terribly, terribly grateful to my dear, dear patrons uh, the past few months because I haven't really posted anything and I don't know, I just, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I will work on that, I promise. I am actually thinking of making a, a little, little gift <laughs> for you guys that have been supporting me even though I haven't really been active there. So I'll let you know on my Patreon feed and just thank you so much like really it it means the world to me and i'm gonna try to show that more this year uh i said i'm gonna be studying more so i think i'm gonna be posting my studies there like my the all the the how do you say it the oh my god i forgot the word backstage stuff yeah <laughs> i'm gonna be posting the backstage of things in my patreon so yeah trust me I'll work on everything, I just, I'm, I'm a mess, <laughs> I'm a messy person and I'm gonna work on that. Oh my god, take a shot every time I say I'm gonna work on that in this video, Jesus. There's so many things I have to work on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, let me see, lifestyle related goals, I really want to find something to just be more active, proactive, I mean. And as in like health wise, I want to eat better. I want to maybe get, maybe do some sports activities. I don't know, just physical activities in general. I really had to find something because I mean, I, I sit around all day. It's just not really good. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, please tell me your goals for this year. Not really, I mean, resolutions is fine too. I don't know, just resolutions feel so serious and uh, I don't know you, yeah just tell me your goals for 2020 I want to I want to read them and as I said before I always read all comments and I'm gonna be trying to reply to as many comments as I can this time so yeah <laughs> I think that's it uh, once again thank you so much Pishilento for sending me these watercolor samples I really really like them and I'm gonna be leaving a link to their store in my description their online store. I'm sorry, but they don't they don't ship overseas. I don't think so. Uh, if they do, I'm gonna leave a note in my description, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, this video is just, I mean, I I wanted something to post, and I I I like I like this video. I liked these girlies that I painted. So yeah, I'm sorry if you can't buy their products. It's just, mm. <laughs> yeah. But if you live in Brazil, I'm actually going to speak Portuguese now. Se você mora no Brasil, é, você pode comprar as aquarelas da Pestilenta no site online deles. Eles vendem todas as cores lá e às vezes eles fazem alguns eventos é, em São Paulo mesmo de vender aquarelas é, né? em eventos. <risos> Tem também uma banca que eles vendem. Mas enfim, todas essas informações estão no Instagram e você pode ver, que eu também vou deixar na descrição abaixo. É... E é isso. <risos> Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. E até a próxima. Switching back to English. Uh, so yeah, sorry that you can't buy these watercolors. Uh, I just think it's a nice video to watch. So I, I still posted it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, and I hope you have a great, great, great 2020. And I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. And just... Yeah, just tell me your goals. I want to read all of them and I don't know. <laughs> See you next time. See you in my next YouTube video, which is hopefully going to be soon. <laughs> Goodbye.